is under me. The larynx. What is this with the rings? It's right here. It's right here. It's right here. The volume of this. I have a beautiful trait. This is a great model. Isn't this a great model? You can play with this one. I think that's one of the best models. Here's your lower teeth. That's your tongue. Huh? Isn't that cool? Then you can see what? Right into your larynx. Huh? Oh, and you know what? There's the fight for you. Caught with. Thyroid caught with. Here's the fight for thyroid. Ligament right here. And you know what this is? No one knows what this is. I will show you what this is. Here is the larynx. And now it becomes the trachea. We'll go through that in a minute. Right where the trachea begins, like a bow tie. <coughs> what is that gland? That's your thyroid. You can't do this, MD. Somebody has cancer, and they have to what? Take away their larynx, and they may have to what? Put a permanent tube in. You've seen that commercial with the guy made in the shower, huh? And they'll put it where? Into the trachea, but it has to be done here below the. Thyroid, so you don't destroy the thyroid. And that's a called um, a tracheotomy. That's a hole in the trachea. A tracheostomy. I think it's a stupid word. I should have given them another one. Is when you make a hole in the cricothyroid ligament, remember an emergency, open it. And it's a stupid word because it has nothing to do with the trachea. Isn't it? That's called the tracheostomy, you know, of an emergency. A tracheotomy is what? More permanent? You know, where <coughs> is it up? Have you ever watched? Have you seen people with tracheotomies? The hole is here. See where my finger is? Where are you in reference to this, this trachea? You're way down around here. See it? See it? Right about well below the body. Come here. It has these rings made of iron plug. But the rings are like the letter C. They don't go all the way around. <coughs> What's in the back? This is connective tissue, some elastic, literally, some collagen. And you know why? You're going to love this. You know why the rings don't go all the way around? Because your mother was right. Take human bites. You ever eat some food, take a big bite, and it's going down your esophagus, and you spit off more than you were supposed to chew, and as the esophagus is moving it down, the esophagus may not be what, wide enough? So the esophagus pushes into the back of your trachea. Is that clever? So you ought to know. Did it ever happen when you eat food and it gets stuck? <coughs> you know what the worst thing that gets stuck? I used to say that's six cafeteria food, but <laughs> so I do that. Sticky rice. You ever read sticky rice? No. It, it's the Japanese style of rice. It's really sticky. I mean, it's like eating rice with glue. But there's a little trick that will widen your esophagus so the food will go down. You know what the trick is? You do this. Lift your arms up and swallow. Oh. When 
you lift your arms up, what happens is literally the esophagus gets a little wider. What about a fishbone? Fishbone? You, uh, you got two choices. Mm -hmm. Either you cough it the hell out, <laughs> or you go to the ear, nose, and throat doctor and pay 120 bucks, let them go into a four-seven.